Hi kids! Isang matatag na araw. I'm Sir Noy and welcome to Mat Bilang. In this video, you will learn how to estimate quotient. We will estimate the quotient when dividing 3 to 4 digit dividends by 1 to 2 digit divisors by first estimating the dividends and divisors using multiples of 10. Let's have a drill! Rounding off numbers. Round this number to the nearest thousand. 2000. How about this number? 9000. This number. 6000. And this number. Round up. 4000. Now, let's proceed to our lesson. But first, let's review our division sentence. The number placed before the division sign is our dividend. The number placed after the division sign is divisor. And the answer in our division sentence is quotient. To estimate the quotient, let's round off the dividend and divisor. Let's have 84 divided by 4. 84 will become 80. We will not round the divisor since it is a one-digit number. Now, let's divide. When dividing numbers, we should focus more on our divisor. Since it is a one-digit number, we will divide a one-digit dividend to our one-digit divisor. So 8 divided by 4 is 2. And we will just copy 0. So, so the estimated quotient is 20. Another one. 482 divided by 5. We will round off the dividend and divisor. So 482 will become 500. And 5 is 5. Now, 1 is to 1. 5 divided by 5 is 1. And we will copy these two zeros. So, our estimated quotient is 100. Another one. 3,982 divided by 8. So, this number will become 4,000. And 8 is 8. Since we cannot divide 8 from 4, we will make this 4 as 40. So that we can divide 8 from it. So, 40 divided by 8 is 5. And the two zeros will be copied. So, our estimated quotient is 500. Another example. 55 divided by 19. 5 will become 60. 19 will become 20. Since both have zeros, we will not add zeros to our estimated quotient. Now, 6 divided by 2 is 3. Or 60 divided by 20, 3. Another 1. 900 divided by 28. This number will become 900. And this number will become 30. So 900 divided by 30. So let's divide these two numbers by 2 to 2 digit numbers. 90 divided by 30 is 3. And we will copy the remaining zeros. So our estimated quotient is 30. Another number. This number will become 8,000. This number will become 40. So 2 to 2. 80 divided by 40 is 2. And we'll just copy these two remaining zeros. So our estimated quotient is 200. Let's try. 278 divided by 6. 50. Our estimated quotient is 50. How about this number? 
our estimated quotient is 1,000. Another one. Our estimated quotient is 2. Our estimated quotient is 5. Another one. Fifty Activity time Activity number one Check whether the estimation is correct Let's answer. Number one is incorrect. Number two is correct. Number three, correct. And number five, incorrect. Activity number two. Estimate the quotient. Let's answer. Number one is 20. Number two is 10. Number three, 300. Number four, 50. Activity number three. Choose the correct estimated quotient. Let's answer. Number one, ten. Number two, four. Number five, two hundred. Number four, fifty. Always remember, 
to estimate a quotient, round both the dividend and divisor to nearby. Easy to divide numbers, often multiples of 10 or 100. Use compatible numbers for simple division. Then check if the estimate is reasonable compared to the original values. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and like my Facebook page. Happy learning!